today I'm going to be flipping back and forth from my whiteboard to our book. I'm going to show you two different ways. The book has a wonderful method of using the hundreds chart, but I know parents, you don't always understand that, and it's hard for the kids. So I'm just going to quickly show you how the book does it, and then I'm going to show you the method I was taught, and it's so much easier and you'll use for the rest of your life. So our workbook pages today are lesson 9.4, addition, any two-digit number, and 1, 2, 3, or 10, 20, 30. It's page 328 and 329. So for this, they're wanting to use a hundreds chart and recognize whether you need to go up and down or left and right. So it's showing you what happens to the numbers as you move left or right. So if you go left or right, you're increasing by one or decreasing by one if you go this way. Okay, they're wanting the kids to recognize left and right means plus one, subtract one. If you go up or down, down is adding 10. You're increasing by 10. Going up is decreasing by 10. Okay, it's wanting the kids to recognize that they can count by 10s. So 4 and 10 is 14. 14 and 10 is 24. Recognizing those patterns of the 1s change or stay the same and the 10s change. So if you're looking at 23 going right, you're adding 1. So the kids should be able to recognize 23, 24, 25. And if you're going down, you're adding 10. So 23 plus 10 is 33. Okay, so we want 63 plus 1. We're going to find 63, and then plus 1, you should know you move right, is 64. Okay, 47 plus 10. So you go to 47. If you're adding 10, you're not going left or right, you're going up or down. And with adding 10, you're going down. So 47 plus 10 is 57. Okay, 78 plus 2, find 78, and you're going to go over 2, 1, 2, so you have 80, okay, 52 plus 20, 52, 20 is a two-digit number, that means you're going to go down, you're going 1, 2, or 10, 20, so it would be 72. 74 plus 10. Find 74. 10 is going down, which would be 84. Okay. Last one, 59 plus 20. 59 plus 20. 10, 20 would be 79. Okay. This is how the book teaches you. This is how the book wants you to do it, is to use your hundreds chart. However, guys, I know some of you have already taught this too, like Xavier, Malachi, and Rose. You guys have learned the double digit adding on your marker boards. We've done this together. So if we have 88, I'm gonna do the best I can, guys. Give me a second. If we have 88 plus 10. This is how it's written in your book, okay? We can't add it like this. This isn't easy, okay? So we're gonna do 88 plus 10. We're gonna write it vertical. This is vertical adding. You want your numbers to line up and you draw a line. Your ones line up and your tens line up. You're gonna add straight up and down. So the first thing we do, let's see. The first thing we do is eight. We do our ones first. You always start with the ones, okay? So eight plus zero. You also know anything plus zero, you're not adding anything, so it's eight. Okay, then we do our tens. Okay, eight plus one, eight, nine. So your answer is 98. Okay.
and I'm getting these problems from right here. So you can copy the answers down right here on your slugs. Okay. Our next problem is 27 plus 2. We can't add crossways, we can't add sideways, so we're going to do 27 plus 2. Now you want to make sure your 1's line up. There's no 10's. If it helps you, you can put that 0 there. We have no 10's. Okay, 2 can also be written as 0, 2. Okay, but you want those numbers to line up. These two equations are the same. Okay, so 7, 8, 9, 2 plus nothing is 2. So 27 plus 2 is 29. 27, 28, 29. Remember, you can pause me anytime you need to, guys. Okay, that way you can get this copied and understand. Ask mom and dad if you have questions because I know all parents can add. Okay, 31 plus 20. Can't add it sideways. Okay. So we're going to do 31 plus 20. We add our 1's first. 1 plus 0 is 1. 3 plus 2 is 5. We got 51. Okay. Let's try one more. Thirty-six plus two. So we're gonna write it vertical. Thirty-six plus two. When you have one number, it goes all the way to the right. So six, seven, eight. Three and nothing is three. So thirty-six plus two is thirty-eight. Okay. You can do it either way, guys. Whichever works best for you. You can add like this on a piece of paper. Or you can use your hundreds chart. Remember, tens go down, ones, two, threes go across. Okay? If you have any questions, ask mom and dad. If mom and dad need to call me or message me on Dojo, I'm here to help you guys. Have a wonderful Monday.